Hello students, I'm going to discuss the quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series 2020 OIM and Carry Forward. Your test is test number 4, code ANB. Your test was held on 8th of December 2019 and I'll be picking up the botany section. So the very first question in the botany section is question number 91 which says net primary productivity. So this net primary productivity does not depend on environmental factors, no. It depends on various environmental factors. So this is wrong. Net primary productivity of ocean is higher than terrestrial ecosystem? No. Net primary productivity of terrestrial ecosystems is higher than the ocean. So this is also wrong. Fourth option, net primary productivity is the rate of formation of new organic matter by consumers. No, it is the secondary productivity, not the primary. Third one is the available biomass for the consumption to heterotrophs. Yes, net primary productivity is GPP minus R. Gross primary productivity minus respiration is NPP. And this NPP is available to the heterotrophs which includes herbivores and decomposers. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 92. Decomposition process occurs mainly in oxygen deficit environment. No, oxygen is required for the decomposition of detritus. Occurs at a slower rate if detritus is rich in lignin and chitin. Yes, if detritus contains water insoluble compounds such as lignin and chitin, decomposition occurs at a slower rate. This is correct. It is enhanced under dry and cold environment. No, it is enhanced during the warm and moist conditions. So wrong. Does not require activity of soil microbes. No, decomposition is not possible without soil microbes. So this is also incorrect. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 93 says that as per the vertical distribution of different species in a forest, grasses occupy. You must have studied in your classes that in forest, there are three layers. First is the bottom layer, which includes grasses and herbs. Second layer is formed by the shrubs and the third or the top layer is formed by the trees. So the bottom most layer is occupied by the grasses. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Question number 94. Select the incorrect statement. First option, energy flow in an ecosystem follows the second law of thermodynamics. It is true. GFC is the major conduct for energy flow in an aquatic ecosystem. This is also true. In a terrestrial ecosystem, much larger fraction of energy flows through detritus food chain. It is also correct that in terrestrial ecosystem, the major conduct of energy flow is DFC, not the GFC. Fourth option, Detritus food chain begins with the different detrivores. No, it begins with the detritus and detrivores feed on detritus. So, the DFC begins with the detritus, not with the detrivores. So, this statement is incorrect. Hence, the correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question. Question number 95 if in a food chain, energy available for herbivores is 2000 Joule, then the amount of energy which gets stored and fixed in tertiary consumer will maximally be. Say this question, it is interesting. It says that NPP, because NPP is available for the herbivores. So the energy available for the herbivores is 2000 Joule. So NPP is 2000 Joule. 10% of it will be taken up by the herbivores. So herbivores will take 200 joules and herbivores are the primary consumers. Now, again, 10% of it will be transferred. So the secondary consumers will take 
20 joule energy and to the tertiary consumers it will be 2 joule. So 2 joule energy is fixed or stored in the tertiary consumers. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question.